Welcome everyone. Thank you for attending today's webinar. My name is Donna Chow and I am your host and your moderator for today's class by Eloy, your leading provider of TCM Continued Education. Today's webinar is Understanding Jimmy Ching's Clinically Proven Formulas, Part 5, presented by Master Herbalist Dr. Jimmy Ching. There will be one break today and we are set to end at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Time. To download lecture notes, go to the Blue Course Access page in your eLotus account. To use the webinar chat room, set your chat preference to everyone so that everyone can see what you're typing and be part of the conversation. And finally, to ask the speaker a question, enter your question into the Q&A box. And finally, the quiz and the video replay. You will be notified by email tomorrow once they are available. Our speaker today is Dr. Jimmy Chang a doctor of oriental medicine trained in Taiwan and a licensed acupuncturist in California. He has over 40 years of concentrated clinical experience treating over 500,000 patients and applying his expertise in differential diagnosis and herbal prescription. In today's class, you will learn Dr. Chang's pulse signs as well as tried and true formulas for anxiety, excess sugar intake, vertical, and high blood pressure. Dr. Ching has previously taught with us on a number of courses, which are now available for purchase as distant learning CE videos. If you want to be able to feel a patient's pulse, identify the Western medical diagnosis, and create clinically effective herbal formulas, Dr. Chang is the person to learn from. For learning his pulse system, I recommend the Gold Pass because you have unlimited access to his pulse courses and herbs for a year. With the Gold Pass, you can also try the herbs that he mentioned because our sponsor, Evergreen Herbs, will provide you with an herbal voucher. When I get back to my computer, I'll go ahead and post that link for you so you can learn more. Now let's begin with today's class and welcome Dr. Jimmy Chang. Hi, guys, it's me again, Jimmy Chang. Today, we're going to talk about several uh, new items with the new pause findings and definition. Okay. Uh, this number five uh, special formula pause signs, this is uh, October. We have the last one of the year will be on November. And the next year, we'll get a series of at least 12 classes about the, everything. You, I believe you have never seen them before. Okay, today I'm going to talk about the uh, this six major items. Sugar combo 2.0 means the addition number two uh, with different condition as we described it before. Or for those my followers has learned before, radical combo two. We're going to look at this same disease with different aspect and different angle, and we have a new way of analyzing all the uh, conditions. The number three, the anxiety combo. This is the most uh, commonly seen condition in nowadays, anxiety. Everybody has anxiety or depression or stress. We're gonna uh, tell you the uh, differential diagnosis between them. The glaucoma formula is kind of rare. We don't usually talk about it, but uh, I'll just let you know, our Chinese medicine is very useful for this kind of problem, especially for the eye pressure and the damage of the eyes and everything. The number five is also very popular condition, <laughs> very popular blood pressure combo number two. We have several different uh, combinations for different kind of uh, blood pressure. I'll be explaining to you one by one. And the number six, M3. M3 is a fang, jia fang. It's a combination of several uh, formulas. It got a very special use in there, especially for the sugar combo. Okay, now let's get on with it. Huh? Okay, sugar. And sugar is a very important and very popular condition in nowadays. So, uh, but the, unfortunately, I cannot make any diagnosis for type one, the uh, uh, constitutional hereditary uh, diabetes cannot be diagnosed by the pulse. But we can only find out the number two. Number two was uh, kind of uh, happened from uh, 
eating habits and living habits and the body type and everything. So we have a different kind of a combination for this uh, diabetes. So let me do a little bit of uh, differential diagnosis. I think there are uh, uh, three, three types of the number two diabetes. First, okay, can, can I write it here? Yeah, but, I need a second page. Oh, I have to go to the second page first, huh? Here. Yeah. Okay, I got, uh, can they hear me now? I got three types of damn heat that's most commonly seen in the condition. Are you? Uh, first is damp heat. Secondary is dry. Then the third one is chi and blood weakness deficiency. So that's very easy. I always tell my uh, patients and uh, their condition by just looking at them. It's very simple. You don't have to uh, think of too much theories about uh, symptoms, uh, the tongue. I don't look at the tongue before, but now, now nowadays I do. So damn heat kind of a diabetes condition happens on chubby people, people with heavy body weight and the swollen everything. So you can... When the patient sits, come in, comes in and to the office and sits in front of you, you can directly tell her, his condition, his possible or hers possible condition by the body weight and and uh, the weight experience, the uh, appearance, the what they look like you know, when they sit in front of you. Second time is dry. Dry is in deficiency. In other words, in deficiency, that means skinny and weak and anemic people. The third one is most weak and deficient. If you have problem uh, tell the difference between two and three, dry people, the pulse, the, the blood pressure will be low and the pulse will be a little higher, like in deficiency, fast beat, but with the low blood pressure, looks so pale. The third one is the chi and the blood all weak. So the blood pressure may be very low, and uh, but the heartbeat rate is low too. So let's get on with the uh, the first one. Damn heat people, this, no matter what, they all have stomach. In other words, the pulse sign there is like this. The, the right hand side, the guan area, the chi, it doesn't matter. First, let's the guan area is deep and forceful. Then you can tell, hey, there's a stomach fire. The patient do not understand what the stage stomach fire is. I just simply tell them you are kind of a uh, pre-diabetic diabetic or already are, or already is. And uh, you can tell that the heat by the feeding of the jump. If it jumps re real fast, and strong, then you can tell that there's a lot of a stomach heat. And the second type is also this one on the uh, right one, but the pause is empty under it. So when you push down, 
the pores just disappear. And the first one, the solid one, no matter how hard you try with your middle finger on his right one, it's very strong. Even you push down all the way down, it still has rebound. But this indeficiency dryness, then it will be empty. When you push down, the pores just disappear. So like, a, like there's nothing underneath, underneath your finger. The third one is all weak. It doesn't even jump and it collapses under pressure. So in this case, we call the yin and yang, qi and blood deficiency. So what do we do about it? Okay, let's get on with the first one. Huh? The uh, Usually we cannot see much the sugar signs on the ear point is kind of uh, awkward. So the pause is very important. And there's another thing to look at is the left. Is the left area. The left turn you. The left hand side, huh? Patient's left. The chi is the kidney. Kidney yang and hormonal reactions is also reflect to the diabetes. So in the damp heat part, the chi is solid. So the lower part is very pushed down and the rebound is strong. But the dry dry, dry type, the indeficiency type is still the same. Like the like the, the pulse on the right one. When you push down, it just disappeared. And the qi and blood, a uh, qi and uh, deficiency, the qi area is totally weak, very weak, no rebound. So when you push down or you let go, the pulse just disappeared. So in the three different types of diabetes, we have a very interesting way of dealing with them. In the first one, the damp heat part will be the formula Oh, I have to clean it, huh? Okay. Uh, Sure. Okay, let's get on with the, uh, the the first one. This combination is for the second type, the in deficiency type. So, the, so I use Zhi Bo Di Huang. It's very good for clearing kidney fire. And astringent is for all the expanding uh, blood vessel, the heat. And M3, we'll be talking about at the end of this month, <laughs> not this month, this seminar, because we're using uh, stomach as the most, uh, the place for the proper diagnosis. So the kit, the M3 is designed to take care of the stomach fire, stomach heat. And I don't care what the uh, modern, modern Western science says about diabetic, Diabetes problem, our condition comes from the number stomach. So I use zi bo di huang wan for kidney fire. Astringent complex is zi zi, he he zi, wu bei zi, ma zi xian. Ma zi xian is very good for skin. Tian hua fen is good for sugar. Zi bei mu. By way, by way, usually we don't use it. We'll, I replay with Hu Zhang. They are work because they are soured and constricted. So put them together, it's good for the fire. That's so simple. I don't care what they say about the, uh, the insulin uh, tolerance or whatever they say. I just use this. And this is for the second type, the indeficiency type. So 
Any questions? Well, 20 questions. Oh, no. Sorry. It's good. Yeah. So the, this formula is designed for in deficiency uh, uh, or I'm sorry, this is designed for insufficiency and solid stomach fire. But, okay. But what's the difference between insufficiency and solid fire? In solid fire, the, the choppy people, you should add a little bit of sh Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang, like a 25% into this combination for fat people, big, strong people. And you can look at their tongue, must be very ugly, coated. So 25, she fu zu yu tang, or, okay, I'm gonna teach you something real new. In nowadays, I find this kind of a pause is very popular, like this morning, oh, okay. Try to get this. The pause is like this. So what does it mean? This is the superficial area. It's weak. When you touch the pause gently, it's very weak, no rebound. When you press down a little bit, the pause becomes strong and with big rebound with the uh, amplitude. And you push down more to the almost touch the skin, the pause just disappeared. I, you can draw a broken line to show the weakness of the pulse. So this pulse actually is kidney related. Sometimes it's got a kidney problem, but today we're not talking about kidney. We just talk about the shape, the feeling of the pulse. Weak, strong, weak. So what does it mean? It means I always tell people to tell my patient, hey, all your problems in the middle. In the middle, well, what does it mean in the middle? In the stomach, spleen, pancreas, liver, and gallbladder. And of course, in the back, in the back pain too. So try to feel this. This is very effective. <clears throat> See how the rebound is. When you gently touch the skin, it's very weak. But there's a little pause. But when you start pushing down more, it becomes very strong rebound and more and become weaker. So this is called weak, strong, weak just means that middle is strong. So in the ear point, middle, all, all, we don't have a big ear here. Okay, forget it, forget it. Ear point, <laughs> ear also related it to, um, can we? I, I forget it, too much trouble. The, the, in the ear in the middle is the stomach, pancreas, and also the breast, and also the thyroid. So nowadays, uh, when I'm treating, if the patient asks me to treat something about the uh, uh, thyroid problem, I do it with stomach. And so what's so special th about this pulse and why am I measuring in here? Because I use a lot of a gush. Okay. Gesha zu yu tang. is a little bit different from xue fu zu yu tang. Gesha means ge means diaphragm, xia means underneath. So this is this formula is for the middle jaw. So simple. If you have any problem with the middle jaw with a digestion problem, I always use it. This this one is even good for diarrhea, I'll tell you later. But anyway, now the diabetes is the either liver or pancreas or gallbladder or stomach, they are related in the same level of the human body. So that's why I use a ge xia zu yu tang. It's very effective. You can add it to this one. Okay, any questions?